workspaces helps us to organize the data inside our geo server you can compare this with the normal folder structure that we have on our computer whenever we will go to any folder you can see that inside this folder we can organize our data better similarly if you are going to use geo server with multiple projects it will make sense to create different workspaces for different projects so that you can organize data better one another advantage that we have is that if you are going to have multiple files with the same name you can actually put all of these files in different workspaces and it will still work if we head over to layers you will see that the name of the layer is actually a combination of the layer name and the workspace the store name is a separate thing so that's why you can have files with the same name but if they go in a different workspace that is still a valid thing now in order for you to see all the workspaces available on your geo server you can either click on workspace over here or you can click on workspace over here by default geo server will have some workspaces for us to work with now in order for you to add a new workspace you can simply click on add new and here you can give the name of the workspace now one thing that you have to keep in mind is that name cannot be more than 10 characters and it cannot contain space so if i do something like earth data it will basically give me an error that we cannot have space bar i can actually replace this with the underscore and this will work just as fine after name we can add namespace uri uri stands for unique resource identifier this works exactly like url but without the need of putting url all the time so what do i mean by that is i can even put the uri like this and it is still valid or i can also do something like this and it will still be valid so uri is just for you to uniquely identify your workspace then we have two checkboxes default and isolated let us for now click on default and save this now if you see our workspaces we have earth data available and the default is checked over here now if i go to some another workspace and if i make that one default you will see that earth data is no more default so this gives us an idea that at any point of time only one workspace is going to be default now the advantage of having a workspace as a default is that now whenever you will go to create new store or new style you will see that that name will appear by default on our workspace drop down and if this is something that you want then it is fine otherwise you can always select another workspace from the drop down list now if i open earth data one more time you will notice that we have two more columns now settings and services if i enable settings it will allow me to fill some metadata about my workspace that i want to do so if i fill this with my information let's say i will change few inputs only and if i save this now whenever someone will load the get capabilities document of earth data they will automatically see my information in it now let's try to see how does it look if i head over to geo server here are all the different service capabilities document linked according to different versions of different ogc standards for now let's open 1.3.0 here you can see that this is an xml document containing entire information about our geo server which includes all the formats that we work with and all the coordinate system that we work with and also of course all the layers that we work with now in order for us to see the data about earth data specifically we will simply edit this url by adding earth data between geo server and aws now when i hit enter you will see that the information about my workspace is loaded and now you can see all the information that i entered krishna loda and then my email id as well so this helps you to organize your workspace imagine a scenario where you want to ship this url to your client here you can add your information so that they will always know that who created this now if i go to earth data one more time 
we also have services available over here. By default, GeoServer has global settings for all different OGC services. But for some reason, for a specific workspace, if you want to override that setting by declaring your own settings, you can do that from over here. You can simply check mark what service you want to override and then you can fill in the detail according to your need. For now, we will stick with the default services. So we don't need any services to be changed. Finally, the last thing that we can do while creating workspace is play with the security. By default, GeoServer has four roles in it. The role authenticated, that means anyone who is authenticated, let alone he be a normal user or an admin user, anyone. Then we have group admin and admin, types of admin, and then we have role anonymous, that means someone who is not even logged in. Here we can define that with this workspace, what all things that these different roles should be able to do. And then if you want to make this as a public entirely, then you can simply click on grant access to any role. And whenever in the future you will add new role, automatically all these things will be available for that role as well. Definitely not a setting that we would recommend from a security angle. Now that we have saved this workspace the last thing that we have to explore is the isolated workspace here in the workspace menu you will see that some of our layers are isolated and what do we mean by that now let's try to go to our service get capabilities document and remove earth data and let us have a look at this entire document now here i can search for something as tiger and I will be able to get all the layers that belong to this workspace. So for example, Tiger Giant Polygon, Tiger POI, Tiger Poly Landmark, so on and so forth. If we check our layers and for, if we check our layers for workspace such as SF or NURC, if I search for SF, you can see that we have quite a few layers available for SF and so is the case with NURC. Okay, now if I go back to my get capabilities document and if I search for NURC over here, you will see that no results are found. So what exactly happened? Even though the layer is available in the Geo server, it is not reflected into get capabilities document because we have kept that workspace as isolated. Now, if I specifically mention a new RC over here in my URL and if I hit enter, then I will be able to see all the information about a new RC specifically. And here all the layers for that particular uh, workspace will also be listed. So if I search for any layer over here in a new RC, for example, image sample, I will be able to get that layer. But again, in the normal get capabilities document, it will be missing because the workspace is isolated. So you can easily imagine the usability of this function for the clients or for the projects where you want to keep the data in your server, but you don't want to mention that in get capabilities document, this plays a very vital role. You can make any workspace isolated by simply checking this isolated workspace checkbox. Now, if you want to remove any workspace, the method is quite simple. You can simply tick in the checkbox and you can click on remove selected workspace and it will be removed. So this is everything about workspace. Thank you.